Hey guys, me Zach Ryan. I'm here with my recap for the new Atlanta. Um, let me just say, this episode, I was kind of disappointed. Not disappointed, no, that's not the right word. It showed me who some people are in this episode. That's what I should say. Um, it, we have to start with Vaughn, because that's what really just irritated me this episode. I told y'all Vaughn was no good. I told Y'all, but y'all won't listen to me. I told you Vaughn was a dog. I knew it. So this forum he had, or this book he's writing. Let's start with the book. He wants to write a book about relationships to tell men what women are looking. No, sorry, to tell women what men are looking for, and to get a man's perspective on how to treat a man or, or whatever else. Fine. When I first heard the idea, saw the idea, I was like. I'm not completely sold on it. And he proved my point because with the forum he had that he invited Triple to, he invited a bunch of men. And for one, he would say that everybody there was a doctor or a lawyer or whatever else. Let me tell you something. I know how a doctor or a lawyer goes out in public and when nobody in that room, a doctor or a lawyer, that was a dog pound. All the men were dogs and Triple or Vaughn invited Triple to the dog pound. I was highly irritated because my my whole family is women, for one. So when you have a whole family of women and someone does them wrong, you're the first to hear about it. And it makes you that much more upset when you see a man like Vaughn saying, you know, as long as I'm honest with this girl, I can sleep with five, six girls and she'll be okay with it. That's so degrading to women. And if you see... It's horrible. It, that's not being honest. It's called being a player. That's called being an asshole. That's called being a jerk. Because you can still break a woman's heart even if y'all are just messing around. Even if y'all are just casual friends or whatever else. She can sp still break a woman's heart. And Vaughn doesn't seem to give a damn. Like, I felt that vibe from him from day one. And I knew it was just a matter of time before he showed his shoe colors. And, you know, when Triple was like, well, that's not how I was raised. I was raised to be faithful to one woman, which is the gentleman, the true Southern gentleman thing to do. You're supposed to be, if you're dating a woman or you're with a woman, you are exclusive with that woman and you treat her like a queen. You don't treat her like a trophy that you pulled out off the shelf to show people and put back. Or a, or a toy you keep in the box that you take out to play with and then you put her back when you're done and you go move on to the next one. That's not how you treat a woman. And Vaughn is just, it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm going off on a tangent. But that is just so disgusting to me. That's so irritating. And the fact that all these other men were in that room with him saying that they do the same thing. That's why women are saying there's no good men around because apparently there's not because they're all sleeping with everybody and then all talking about it and agreeing like it's okay. Like, it, I have no respect for men like that. I'm going to get off Vaughn because I can just go off on him all day. Vaughn, it's just, I have no respect. My, I have no respect for Vaughn. And the fact that he went somewhere with Africa and was two feet away flirting with, with um, Alex. Who does that? And Alex, and if Alex is still with him after seeing this, Alex is a damn, I mean, not Alex, is Afri if Africa is still with him after seeing this, she is a damn fool. If she sees what he said in this episode and it's still his play thing, she is a damn fool for staying, if she's doing that. I'm hoping she got the hell up out of there and just ran for the hills and got away from him. Now, let's get on Alex. So, Alex... I don't know. They don't show a lot of her. I don't know why. But um, she came in there and, you know, we didn't see her the whole episode until the party. She comes into the party and immediately starts flirting with Vaughn. Now, I can't put all, all the blame on Vaughn. However, he is a huge part of it. But Alex, if you clearly know, if he, she asked him, did you come here by yourself? And he said he came with Africa. Back the hell up. Like, you know that him and Africa are or something. They may not be boyfriend or girlfriend, but you know there's something. Back the hell up. Like, who who does that? That's just, that's attention. That's needy. That's... Uh, this whole episode just pissed me off. Everybody in this episode pissed me off. And 
I can't. Like, you know that they're together. You know they're coming together. Leave him alone. Don't sit there and be like, oh, I'm going to piss her off. I'm going to get to her. Because it makes you look like a hoe. It makes you look like a hoe. I'm not calling her one, but that's what it makes her look like. And that's what people are going to think, that she's a whore or a hoe. So I just want her, just, I know you're young, but don't do that. It, you know, stop. Just just don't do it. Um, Trouble, Trouble is the only one who didn't piss me off in this episode. Emily, I'm sorry, I love me some Emily, but she kind of got on my nerves too this episode because she had been stringing that boy along. Justin, Jeremy, Jessica, I think it's Justin. She was stringing that boy along, and then it's like, you know, I'm glad she finally told him. I'm totally glad she finally told him she don't love him because that, as you see, put a stop to it. But I felt like what he was saying was valid. Like he knew he was stringing her. He he was getting strung along. Which, why he stayed on for the ride if he knew that, I don't know. But I just hate that he did that to him. Um, and I think that where it went wrong was what he was saying, he's getting too hot in the kitchen for her. And she was like, oh, well, you cheated on me. It may be true. I don't know. But I felt like she said that because what he was saying to her was completely 100% true. And she just didn't want to hear it. So I think that that happens um, sometimes. I hope that... I don't want to say I don't want them to be together because I don't know them like that. But if it's something personal, if someone cheated on me, it's no going back, honey. I'm you're an ex for a reason. I don't I don't do exes again. No, but um, I'm glad she finally told him. But I hate that they had to argue or he had to go off on her because he was going to ham on her for for her to actually tell him. So, but hey, I got told. I guess um, I feel like I'm missing somebody. Alex, Tribble, Africa, Vaughn, Emily. Don't let everybody. But this episode really just irritated me. But I'm really glad that Tribble stood up in the dog pound for what he said, um, for what his beliefs were. Because I feel like he could have easily just gone along with it because he was there. Because he was in somebody else's setting. He could have easily went along with it and then backed on and said something else. I'm glad he stood up at that moment to say, hey, I, this, this ain't okay with me. Um... I think Emily is going to tell Africa. I hope she told Africa because I would have told Africa. I mean, you don't want your girl sitting there looking stupid and getting played. For one, for one, she's going to look stupid. For two, that's how STDs get spread around. If Vaughn is going around hitting everybody he see, being around the block more times than the ice cream man, that's, that's how stuff gets spread. So I, I really hope she tells her and just like, and I hope Africa has like an epiphany and is like, oh, damn. You know, especially especially seeing him and Alex flirting with each other. He would have got left. I'm sorry. I would have thought that he, I would have left his ass there. But um, this is more like, I've been like going off more than I've recapped. Um, but that's really all that happened because this episode, I was really, really irritated by Vaughn in this episode. I know y'all know I don't like him, but I, I can stand it. Um, but subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter, at Zachariah. Um, leave comments below. Tune in next week for another recap, an actual recap. I won't be just going off next time unless something really pisses me off. Um, tune in for a recap and the new Atlanta after I live or I dream of Nene. Sorry. Um, and that's all I have for you guys. Bye.